So by now you're probably very aware of the SolarWinds network and server performance monitoring solutions. Today we're going to cover the SolarWinds web application performance monitoring solutions. Specifically, they give you insights into the availability and performance of your web applications as it relates to the experience of your end users. As we all know, if we're providing a bad experience to our end users, that directly impacts our business uh, revenue, customers leave and bounce. And in fact, we've seen a direct correlation between low times and bounce rates, for example. So you wanna make sure that you're alerted when those performance thresholds are exceeded and so that you can proactively manage your customer expectations as it relates to the performance of your web applications. Absolutely. Let's say you're experience an uptrend in page load times, right? Being able to be notified to that um, allows you to start the troubleshooting process much quicker. Um, even before your end customers or your end users start to experience those frustrations and they leave your site to go to the competitors. That's definitely what we don't want to happen, right? So our web performance monitoring tools um, gives you uh, that, that upper hand and being able to be notified in real time so you can start your troubleshooting efforts quicker. Um, and that also has a positive impact on business continuity as well as your overall customer satisfaction. So let me pull up the web performance monitor transaction recorder. So in this example, uh, we want to make sure that if a user comes to our site and they want to download a trial of Web Performance Monitor, that their experience is smooth, they're not experiencing any slow uh, page load times or anything like that. So when you pull up the recorder, the first thing you're going to do is enter the URL of the website that you want to monitor. Um, so as you can see here, we're going to www.solowins.com slash WPM. So it'll bring up the website as your end user will see it. Now. All we have to do now is click the record button to start recording this transaction. And after we click record, we're going to go through the steps that a normal user would take to complete the download process. So once we hit record and the recording actually starts, the next thing we do is click on the download free trial button. That immediately brings up the registration form. And as an end user, I will just start populating this information. And as you can see, as I'm populating uh, on the right hand side of the screen, um, everything, every step that I'm taking, everything that I'm entering is being populated on the right hand side. Um, so you can see the steps as you're doing them. Once you get the form filled out, and then you click the proceed to free download button, and this is where we want our end users to end up. So that's the end of this transaction. So I'm gonna hit the stop record button. And now that everything is done, what I can do is save my transaction to the Orion platform. And then once that is saved, we can open up the Orion console and view every recorded transaction that we have. Um, and we can use this as a starting point to start those synthetic user tests to use as a baseline for their actual, our end users actual uh, experience with the site. So Matt, we talked a lot about transaction recording and synthetic end user monitoring within Web Performance Monitor. Why don't you take us through Pingdom um, and show us what uh, monitoring web health and performance looks like. Sounds great. Yeah, Pingdom really is a comprehensive web monitoring solution. Um, as you can see here, we do uh, transaction monitoring just like uh, WPM. We also do page speed performance monitoring, uptime monitoring, and real user monitoring. Many of you may know Pingdom from uh, being an uptime monitor, but within uptime, we also just don't uh, monitor uh, web pages, but also APIs, CDNs, DNS, network, some network and email uh, server monitoring. Uh, so, but today, what I want to do is spend a little bit of time on our page speed and RUM monitoring. Uh, for example, our real user monitoring, again, focuses on monitoring your real user's interaction with your site as it's happening. So, for example, what we're seeing on the screen here is that this website is at, has active 56 active users on their site right now as we're looking at it. Uh, it shows their low time mm -hmm. as they're experiencing it, the number of page views and their bounce rates and their overall app deck score. So that's the satisfaction of what their, uh, how their interaction with your website is as it relates to the performance of your site. Not only can you see that high level view, you can drill down into the details and see by geography where your users are, where they actually are and accessing your site from. Right. So for example, this is showing that we have a lot of users in, in Russia, Europe, United States, North America at this point, um, and their average, again, their average load time. We also see what platforms they're accessing your site from, what browsers they're using, uh, and again, they're the load time distribution by page views. Uh, again, this is real user monitoring as it relates to uh, how your users are experiencing your site. We have filters where you can do also uh, last 24 hours, last day, right. custom, that sort of thing. But if by default, you're landing and seeing uh, 
how they're acting, interacting with your site at the moment. In addition to RUM, another performance-based uh, web uh, monitoring that we provide in Pingdom is something we call page speed monitoring. So this gives you insights into specific pages and how they're, how fast or how slow they're loading for your individual users from certain locations. As you can see, here's a list, but uh, on the right here, we're showing that we're testing this, this site from the Eastern US, uh, for example, Europe, uh, lots of different geographic locations, what the median load time is for those users in that location, and the general performance grade that we're gonna give your site based on the performance and the speed of your site at that given time right. with these parameters uh, in place. So as you saw, the SolarWinds web performance monitoring products provide comprehensive insights into the availability and performance of your web applications, regardless of the implementation of your application or the environment that you have them in. Absolutely, both tools are great, um, but one may be a better fit depending on your environment. For example, if you're in an environment where um, you purchase your own web applications, you manage them yourselves, um, and you're monitoring from within the firewall, or you're looking for tighter integration with your other SolarWinds products um, through the single pane of glass visibility that the Orion platform gives you, then Web Performance Monitor uh, may be the best fit for you. On the other hand, if you're in more of a SaaS monitoring environment with your web applications where you're not managing them and you're monitoring from outside of the firewall, um, then Pingdom uh, will probably be a better fit for you there. Uh, regardless of what tool you use, whether it's WPM or Pingdom, uh, both tools give you a great uh, client side view of web health and performance. Um, and they pair very nicely um, when we're talking about our SolarWinds portfolio of server side uh, monitoring tools, um, more specifically for WPM, uh, with server and application monitoring, when you pair those together, or you pair Pingdom with App Optics, then you'll have a comprehensive view of both client side and server side web health and performance.